Welcome back to The Math Guy, everybody. Today, we're gonna to be looking at how to solve one-step equations that involve addition and negative numbers. Let's go. Okay, so first, let's just look at our equation here and try and identify any features that we see. So this T represents our variable, our unknown value, and at the moment, it's connected to this plus 13. Then we have our equal sign, showing that everything on either side of the equal sign is therefore balanced. And on this other side, I have a negative 30. So in order to find the value of t, I need to get t on its own. But at the minute, like we said, it's connected to this positive 13. So the only way to get rid of this positive 13 is by cancelling it out by inserting a negative 13 to that side of the equation. So let's rewrite that side and have t plus 13 negative 13 equals and then because I've inserted a negative 13 to one side, I have to then put it on the other side to keep my equation balanced. So I would have negative 30 minus 13. And now when I look at my equation, I can see that on this left-hand side, I have a plus 13 and a negative 13. Well, plus 13 and negative 13 will cancel themselves out, and we're gonna end up with just t on its own. So therefore, t equals negative 30 minus 13. Well, we have negative 30, and we're going even further down, getting even more of a negative, so we're gonna be going further down the number line, and we'll end up with negative 43. So in this case, t equals negative 43. Let's have a look with a second example. Now on this side, we have the negative 15 on the left-hand side. And then on this right-hand side, I have my variable that's connected currently to an adding negative 4. So again, to get this variable on its own, we need to break this connection to the adding negative 4. And the only way we can do that is by putting the inverse. So in order to get the inverse of the adding negative 4, we're going to insert a subtract negative 4. And by putting that subtract negative 4 on this side, I therefore have to put it on the other side as well. So I put my subtract negative 4 on that side too. So my new line would read negative 15 subtract negative 4 equals b plus negative 4 minus negative 4. Now when we look at this right hand side, we can see that the plus negative 4 and the subtract negative 4 will cancel themselves out and equal 0. So I'm left with just b. But on this left hand side, it can be quite difficult to see what to do here because we have negative 15 subtract negative 4. Well, the other way we can think about it is when we are in negative, we are essentially owing someone value. So at the moment, we owed somebody 15. We were in debt. We had a negative 15. But then we're taking away part of that debt. We're taking away a negative 4. So actually what we're doing is we're going to come up the number line. We're getting rid of some of that debt. So if we had negative 15 and we're getting rid of a negative 4, we actually come up and we end up at negative 11, a higher value than the negative 15. So negative 11 equals b, or in other words, b equals negative 11. Adding and subtracting negatives, such as here, can be quite difficult. So I'm going to link a video that specifically works on that in the title, and in the description below. So if you are a little bit unsure about that, be sure to check that out. Okay, let's look at what to remember. Our first job was we're gonna try and isolate this variable. So in the first case, we can look at this t, and we're trying to isolate it away from this plus 13. How do we do that? Well, we must insert a negative 13. But whatever we do to one side, we must therefore do to the other, and then we can just solve to find the variable value. And there you go. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, please think about subscribing. Share this video with someone that you think would struggle with this skill too. But for now, peace out.